Meet May May Omabai, Chief Operating Officer and the highest ranking person of color in the 100 year history of the New York Museum. In her professional career, May May has spent her time blazing trails at the New Jersey Department of Higher Education, the Casino Control Commission, and the American Association of Museums. For the last 15 years, May May has overseen all operations for the New York Museum, one of North America's most respected museums of art, science, and education. From the African Art Gallery of this mini Smithsonian, a conference May May tells us about her fearless work ethic, how she's able to maintain a balanced life, and her keys to success for working in any industry. Find out why she's the boss. So, Miss May May Omabai, before we get into the business of being the boss, we have a tradition here where we like to do a shoe check and see how you run the business literally because it's not easy running a business in heels. I love shoes. Mm -hmm. And this is Sam Edelman. I love them because they are classic with a twist. They are. Yes. You need heels to run a business like this. What did you want to do when you graduated from college? Did you know that you wanted to be in finance and being a position such as the one you're in today? My background is an uh, MBA, CPA. I started out in auditing as most young uh, accounting graduates would do. And fortunately I was hired by um, big eight accounting firms at the time. I learned one thing very quickly. I needed to solve problems. I guess I tracked myself in the problem solving consulting M. It also opened up the world to me because if you're able to solve problems, you can solve them in any industry. Talk about what you love about being the chief operating officer of the New York Museum. I love this job because I bring all my skills to it. I came into museums enjoying travel, which I do, and one of the places you get to know about a group of people, their culture, understand them, is through the museums. The second thing in this particular museum is its diversity. It has art, high art, mm -hmm. one of the best in the country. It has science, natural sciences, one of the best in the country. And it represents all world cultures. And if there is anything I'm hungry for, it's a passion for impact, for progress, for making a difference. How are you able to maintain that position as the boss, yet still be true to yourself? It's interesting you ask that, because I think the fundamental thing is your value system, your essence. Everything cannot be number one. You learn to put yourself first. You put your health first. You put your spirituality first. Remember, when you get on the airplane, the first thing you are shown is the safety plan. And you are told, even if it's your child beside you, take care of yourself first, then look out for your child. I think we should learn something from that. You have no use to anybody if you are not 100%. And so give yourself permission to be your number one priority. Then all the rankings for all the priorities will fall into place. I think it's important to be grounded in something, your spirituality. That's your center. If you don't have one, you are empty. And above all, I have been fortunate to have a wonderful family, so I'm thankful. You just learn to appreciate what you've got and appreciate those around you. You've been talking about balance a little bit, and so I want to hear about your 3.30 p.m. ritual that you have here. <laughs> you had to go there, didn't you? <laughs> yes, we want to know. We want to know. Well, I believe you can Hopefully you've sensed that I truly enjoy life. I yes. enjoy work. I enjoy play. Mm -hmm. So at tea time, I like a little Afro jazz, preferably Fela. 
Okay. My stuff would be blown away if I didn't have music <laughs> going with my tea. And so, they are free to participate in the tea. They can dance if they have rhythm. If but they have rhythm. If they have rhythm. You don't That's have a rhythm, don't dance. No. <laughs> Just sit down You don't want to mess up my music. You were quoted as saying, I always work to leverage my opportunities for the benefits of others. Tell me about your management style. I think any good leader is measured and or is impactful only to the extent they are able to bring out the best in their staff. And that means even if you have a group of superstars, they are not working for themselves. They are working for the team as a whole. And if you're to be successful as a manager, as a leader in any forum, you have to model that. You have to show first that you're working for their benefit. Otherwise, you're not going to get them to work for the benefit of the whole. A lot of emphasis is placed on the employee. The employee is first. A happy employee is a productive employee. And a happy employee is the employee that would voluntarily give up to give you the best of their talent. And so my style is geared toward that. I'm not afraid to delegate. And as I said before, I am a perfectionist without apologies. If I delegate, first you have to show you can do it. And then you have the opportunity to prove you can do it. When you do it, we celebrate that accomplishment together. What advice would you give a younger you? Maymay at 22, what advice would you give yourself? Go in there and walk like nobody else is walking. You get in there, you find out what needs to be done. If you have the ability to do it, if you have the ability to learn to do it, if you've never done it before, don't, afraid, don't be afraid to fail. Look for the problem that needs to be solved and do the best you can to solve it. The rest will follow. You have worked with the Casino Control Commission, mm -hmm. you've been a policy advisor, you've worked with the Department of Higher Education. Mm -hmm. Your resume is very long and strong. What's next for you? The sky's the limit. The sky's the limit. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though, I see myself able to do anything as my history has proved. Thank you so much for your time today. I'm sorry we made you miss your tea at three. <laughs> you look like a lady with rhythm to me, so you can join us. Next time I'll have to join you for tea at three with a little rhythm. Although I might just have to sit and have my tea because my rhythm, not so Yeah? Great. Oh, you <laughs> can so watch. Great. Not so great. I'll watch. Yeah. And sip tea. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's good to see you. You as well. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of She's the Boss. And you can watch other episodes at MadamNoir.com. And be sure to follow us at MadamNoir on Twitter.